and this doesn't look exactly like what we have over here, but luckily, recall that that just means add things up. And we know a bunch of things about addition. First of all, it's commutative, right? And it's associative. So that means we can reorder it and regroup it any way we want. And there's like a distributive rule, right? Where you can factor things out. So all of that allows us to do the following. So this is the same thing as the sum as j goes from one to 50 of j squared minus four times the sum as j goes from one to 50 of j, right? So I mean, this seems like we did something fancy, but really we just reordered and regrouped. But check it out, at this stage, we can have, uh, we can apply some of these formulas that we talked about, right? So this first one, so that's gonna turn into, well, the role of capital N is being played by 50. So we have, it's this one down here. So we have 50 times 51 times, well, that, that's like 101, 101 all over six. So if you ever like wanted to know the sum of the first 50 squares, it's, it's that. I mean, we can, we can simplify that and we will, but it's that. And then we have minus four times, well, now we get to use that one. So that's 50 times 51 all over two. Well, and now we can like do some simplification if we wanted to, right? So let's see. We know that this six will cancel down to a three if we cancel this 50 down to a 25, right? Just dividing by two. And then this three will cancel this 51, I believe into a 17. So three times 17, well that's three times 10, plus three times seven, 30 plus 21 is 51. And then, let's see, after that, well, this two will cancel this four into a two. And then, well, in the end, well, I guess we could calculate that. So we have uh, 25 times 17, 25 times 17. So this is 425, 425. Oh, times 101 times 101. So that's 42925, 42925 minus, so two times 50 times 51. So two times 50 times 51. So that's a 5100, 5100. And then I guess we could subtract them if we were psyched, so 42925, so 37,825. So that's what we get if we add those numbers up.